physical presence calculator i'll show you how it uh, is done i come down start calculate enter the date you will sign the application if you do not know when you will sign the application or are only checking to see if you are eligible enter today's i will any which ways choose today's date that is 11 march 2022 enter the date you became permanent resident of canada so in my confirmation of pr as well as back of the permanent resident card the day i landed that date has been entered and that's the date i became permanent resident so i will go and choose january 2019 and for that once i click here go up 2019 january and i choose the date what is mentioned so in order to save a calculation you must register and login this is a very good option if it is saved anytime this will be available for access for today's video i'm directly going to calculate once i calculate i'll be able to download this and once i'm sending this physical copy of application i just need to attach and send in this page did you have canadian temporary resident state that is a visitor visa international student temporary worker temporary resident permit holder and or where protected person basically in the eligibility it's asking for number of days as permanent resident so this is one way to look at if you were any of these states did you have canadian temporary resident status that is visitors international student temporary worker temporary resident permit holder and or where a protected person you see here this is the date 11 march 2017 if you had seen I had chosen today's date as the application filing date. So five years backward is 11 March 2017. And I had shown the landing date as 10th January 2019. So prior to that, this duration, okay, did I have any of these status? The question what is getting asked and my answer is no. Okay, so once I do the submit, only the five years immediately before the date of your application are considered for calculating the physical presence requirement so i have explained this continue did you spend time serving a sentence for an offense in canada that is term of imprisonment conditional sentence probation and or parole what is the date 11 march 2017 to 10th march 2020 5 years window my answer is no submit continue did you leave canada between 11 march 2017 and 10 march 2022 now this question came as a tricky one because i landed as permanent resident in canada and from that time i have not gone outside canada and if you see the date here it mentions 2017 so i was in india and i was thinking how should i be respond answer yes if you left canada for any reason including vacation work business family matters school illness etc my response is no because after i landed in canada i have not traveled back or gone outside Canada, and i'm meeting that eligibility requirement of number of days what is getting asked. so i choose no and sub day trips that is absence where you left canada and came back on the same day must be declared so this is very clear say i had taken vacation uh, outside canada say to us mexico um, or i had gone on trip to india those things will have to be declared so that's how this calculator will calculate the number of absent days and after taking that out how many physical days i actually stayed in canada so continue and this physical presence calculator what does it say according to the information you provided that is i provided you meet the requirement to be physically present in canada for at least 1095 days in five years immediately before the date of your application once i come down okay uh, it shows the permanent resident date which uh, i had entered application date again i had entered and then the physical calculator calculated that i have been in canada for 1056 number of days what is the required minimum days 1095 so it is more than that had i chosen my answer any of them for this and this the calculation would have shown according so here it is zero and zero then for the temporary resident status also my response uh, was nil so you see no days shown so that's how this physical calculator shows my total presence in canada so here there is a note please note every day of physical presence as temporary resident or 
protected person counts as 0.5 days credit and you cannot be credited for any more than 365 days of temporary residence or time as protected person. Therefore, in order to get maximum 365 days credit, you need to be physically present in Canada as temporary resident or protected person for 730 or more days during the eligibility. If you remember, there was a section where this number was mentioned. Okay. So, the logic is if anyone was a temporary resident and they had stayed for these many days. Okay. So, for each day they stayed that will be considered as this much credit and that's how the calculation would have been done so had you entered the number of days uh, you were in Canada uh, any absenteeism the calculator would have shown the outcome according so my physical calculator is done so I know that I meet this criteria okay and once I come down print and attach this page with your application for Canadian citizenship so this page will go as attachment as proof that I have done the physical calculator calculation and please make sure that the date of application used in the calculation so date of application here is this so the same date has to be the date of signature on the application form which I will be filling okay so I have read this there is a warning if you send an application containing misleading or fraudulent information you can be charged with criminal offense and your citizenship application can be refused so this warning is pretty much clear once I do print this page and go and save I have saved in case I want to modify I can do the modification and then print and save if I want to start a new calculation I can go and so this part is done 